I've done, I've clowned with patients 20,000 hours. You know, I have a million things to bring to every interaction. I have radar everywhere for everyone in the room, everything in the room. I am first with my eyes going right to their eyes, love eyes, zap, zap. I have many toys, 40, 50 pounds of toys, all under my pants. I have a duck on my head. I'm carrying a fish. My clown character is a Down syndrome adult because Down syndrome adults' style is unconditionally loving and funny. And so I walk in there, and you can have be covered in burns of the worst kind. I don't see it. I see your beautiful eyes. You see I don't see it. You see me see you in whatever your situation, you can be dying that minute. And I'm there with you right away. When I go to a hospital, I ask the people, who is the worst? You know, I don't have the idea I'm going to cure them. I don't even have the idea I'm going to help them. I have the idea that I know I can make a relationship with them. And that relationship will make whatever it is easier. I'll give you an example. In Russia, most of the hospitals don't have pain medicine. They don't have any money. So if you're with kids with cancer, they can have metastases to the bone, which some say is the worst pain a human can experience. So a mother can be in a room with a child who hasn't stopped screaming in five months because the, the metastases don't go away. There's no pain medicine. So while the child is awake, they only know it's screaming bloody murder and pain until it gets so exhausted it falls asleep. And then when the sleep wears off and the pain shows itself again, they wake up screaming. And this is the only thing the mother knows in the child for months. And I know 85% of the time I walk in there as a clown, they'll stop screaming. And that's why I ask for the worst. 